Fail. 
ostracized at school and were dismissed early every day so that they could avoid the bullying. During their late teens, they began using drugs and committing minor crimes, which led them to be put in mental institutes. The girls had a long-standing agreement that if one died, the other must begin to speak and live a normal life. During their stay in Broadmoor's mental hospital, they began to believe that it was necessary for one of them to die, and after much discussion, Jennifer agreed to make the sacrifice. After being transferred to a new facility, Jennifer could not be woken. She had been acting strangely the previous day. Her speech was slurring, and she said she was dying. She was taken to the hospital, where she died soon after of acute myocarditis, a sudden inflammation of the heart. There was no evidence of drugs or poison in her system. June had said, I'm free at last. Liberated, and at last Jennifer has given up her life for me. She believed she was washed of her sins and free of her sister. Saren is a deadly nerve agent developed for chemical warfare. It is colorless and odorless, making it extremely difficult to avoid. In March 1995, ten members of the Doomsday Cult called Om Shinri Kyo launched five separate sarin gas attacks on board five subway trains in Tokyo during the morning rush hour. The attack killed 14 and injured approximately 5,000, 1,000 of which received serious injuries, some with permanent injuries some who later died from the injuries. Emergency workers and subway staff who came to help were unaware of the gas. They were directly exposed and became victims themselves. The siren they had produced was not as pure as they intended. Had it been so, it would have caused far more damage. The cult was founded in 1984, starting out as a regular yoga group. They believed Armageddon was inevitable and would arrive in the form of World War III, involving the United States and Japan. Non-members were doomed to eternal hell, but could be saved if killed by a cult member, and only members of the cult would survive this apocalypse. In August 1989, the group was a grounded official religious corporation status, giving it privileges such as tax breaks and freedom from government oversight. 
Disaster was easier. 
History Museum in Germany. In 1899, in Virginia, dozens of people mysteriously fell ill after being bitten by the kissing bug, a species of insect that bites humans' faces while they sleep. The bug spread Chagas disease, which can affect anyone, causing serious permanent harm. Digestive problems. These bugs are still found in the US today, with a current estimate of up to 1 million cases of Chagas disease in people. The Royal Order of Jesters a very secretive club within the Shriners, another secretive club which is within Freemasonry, yet another secret club. The Jesters are so secretive that they have an anti-publicity policy. According to the little information available, the organization's brand of fun includes strippers, prostitutes, and drugs. They are invitation-only, and asking for an invitation will lead to being blacklisted. They front as a social and entertainment group of wealthy men, and nothing more. The website says, whereas most Masonic bodies are dedicated to charity, the Royal Order of Jesters is a fun degree with absolutely no serious intent. In the past, the Order had some legal problems involving human trafficking prostitutes. A federal court convicted several members, including a New York Supreme Court Justice, of human trafficking for transporting prostitutes across state and international lines. In another incident, the FEC investigated a Florida congressman about his ties to the organization and his use of campaign funds for club activities. The guillotine remained in use in France up until 1977. Person to be executed by guillotine was 27 year old Hamida Chandubi, convicted of the killing, torture, and murder of 21 year old Elizabeth Bousquet. Chandubi worked as a landscaper, but in 1971, his leg got caught in the tracks of a tractor, resulting in his right leg being amputated. He met Elizabeth in the hospital. She filed a complaint against him, stating he had tried to force her into prostitution. He beat her in 
was from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. No homework, no test, no projects. For example, math class consisted of grabbing a math book and handing the teacher at least one page of work. The other 12 hours of the day consisted of constant conditioning and brainwashing. In the beginning, you obviously rejected it, but then you would be dealt with. You would not be able to rise through the ranks of the program to earn more rights until you could prove yourself to be a good candidate for more brainwashing. Eventually, it became your responsibility to begin indoctrinating the newer students. You had strength and non-strength. Non-strengths were not allowed to talk, interact, or communicate in any way with other non-strengths. At least six months to earn the title of strength. It took some kids years to earn strength, and some never did. 